good morning student welcome to the online fifth lecture of psalm unit 1 in this lecture there are some numericals given to you as a part of assignment in previous lecture also two numericals were given to you to solve at home so on the basis of previously thought Uh, PPTs about moment of inertia about central axis you have to solve this numerical I will just dictate this numerical and later in this lecture we will also study theory of parallel axis so the first problem to solve determine moment of inertia about the centroidal axis for a hollow rectangle section having external dimension 100 mm into 150 mm and internal dimension 50 mm into 100 mm so we have a rectangle and inside that rectangle another concentric rectangle we have already solved this type of numerical in one in our previous ppt Next slide. Second slide. Question 2. Determine moment of inertia about centroidal vertical axis for a hollow circular pipe having external diameter 100 mm and internal diameter 75 mm. So here D external diameter 100 mm and small d 75 mm. We have seen the formula about moment of inertia about central axis that is i x axis is equal to i y y is equal to pi divided by 64 in bracket capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4. So you refer to the formula okay and please solve it. We have already solved this type of numerical in our previous PPTs. Next slide. Determine the moment of inertia and radius of correction of a quarter of a circle of radius 300 mm about its own centroidal axis. So you have to find I x x and I y y and you have also to find kxx and kyy already this numerical has been solved in our previous ppt this type of numerical i'm sorry i repeat this type of numerical has been solved in our previous ppt so you can refer to that and solve it next slide calculate moment of inertia of a semicircle having diameter 100 mm about its centroidal y y x x when the diameter sorry when the diameter is parallel to x x axis here the diameter is parallel to x s axis okay so the base would be the diameter in horizontal direction fine we have to find i x uh, sorry i y y you have to find i y <laughs> question 5 find the moment of inertia about the centroidal x x axis and y y x x for equilateral triangle having side of 100 mm this type of problem we have solved all the sides for equilateral triangle is of 100 mm the internal angle are all equal we have to find height h and put that value in the given form so please refer to our previous numerical and solve it remember one thing these are assignment and its term work and its performance is being counted in your term work fine next slide the next slide 
is now the new theory part that is parallel axis theorem the parallel axis theorem states that the moment of inertia of a plane section about any, any axis is equal to moment of inertia of the plane section about a parallel axis passing through its centroid or center of gravity plus the product of area in the square of perpendicular distance between two axes. This is the theorem part. We will try to understand what this theorem means by referring to the next slide. Next slide. In this slide, you see a plain irregular shape lamina by the name A, plain section of area A. Then we see X, X axis. That is this axis xx passing through g g is centroid of this lamina now we have at the bottom axis a and b axis a and b the centroid is at g and the line joining axis a and b is perpendicular to ab so we have one line axis xx and the other axis AB. Both are parallel to each other. The distance between them is H. Distance between them is shown by H. Now, we have the parallel axis theorem. Now, till now, the type we have studied was moment of inertia about any axis passing through the centroid. So, if you look at this plane figure, we have x and x axis. So, here we in our previous problem, we have find only the moment of inertia about x x axis or y y axis. That is i x x or i y y. But now, using parallel axis theorem, we have to find the moment of inertia of this or any given section about parallel axis that is any axis not on centroid not on centroid okay your axis a b is not on centroid it is parallel to axis and it is away from centroid so you see a b is an outside uh, a b is a non centroidal axis and it is at distance h from xx. I hope things are clear. And previously, we used to have ixx, that is, moment of inertia about its centroid. Okay. But here, this moment of inertia is about axis AB. It is away from centroid. Fine. So, we move to the next slide. In this slide, by parallel axis theorem, we will see the mathematical expression. The first expression, IAB, that is moment of inertia, about AB, is equal to IG plus AH square. A is the area of plane section. H is the distance between the two parallel axes that is axis passing through centroid and axis parallel to it a b now i g is nothing but axis passing through centroid that is i g is equal to i x x therefore i a b is equal to i x x plus a h square this is the mathematical expression and we will be using this expression as a formula to solve various numerical. So please remember this formula. All formula has to be remembered for you, by you to solve the numerical. 
Next slide. In this slide, as we have studied in the previous slide, um, in the diagram, in the previous slide, the AB axis was parallel to centroidal X X axis. But in this slide, we have shown AB axis, axis AB, it is parallel to axis YY passing through G, that is centroid. Then we have area A, plane of plane section, and H is the distance between two parallel axes, Y, Y axis and a b axis okay so this time we the a b axis is parallel to y y axis i hope you understand the difference between both the diagram the previous diagram and this diagram okay one parallel to x axis and in this diagram a b now parallel to y y axis right so moment of inertia about i a b at about a b this whole section is will be rotating about AB. Okay. Rotating about AB. And right. But when we say if it, it has to rotate about centroidal axis, Y axis, then it rotates about Y Y. So just for the imagination sake, you just think like some keep some rod Y Y and keep uh, take some notebook. Okay. And keep that uh, rod the center of the notebook and you try to rotate it try to rotate the notebook about the rod so we understand how it rotate it rotate about the rod which is kept at the center of the notebook now you keep the same rod at a distance but parallel to the previous position to the parallel to the previous position and therefore and now try to rotate the notebook so here you can understand how the rotation takes place. Okay. Apne kya karna chahiye? Samajhne ke liye ek simple notebook lijiye aur ek chota rod ya scale lijiye. Scale ko aap simple se notebook pe upar rakhiye ya left hand mein scale pakdiye, right hand mein notebook pakdiye. Aur scale ko aapke notebook ke center axis, x axis, x axis ya y axis jaisa ek andaza रखिए अब नोटबुक उसके अबाउट यानी उसके अराउंड रोटेट करने की कोशिश कीजिए यानी पूरा पूरा नोटबुक जब रोटेट करेंगे तो ये हो जाएगा उसका रोटेशन अबाउट रोटेशन अबाउट सेंट्रल एक्सिस ठीक है फिर अब दूसरे केस में क्या कीजिए वही स्केल को नोटबुक के बाहर कहीं तो भी नीचे रखिए थोड़ा और फिर नोटबुक को उसके ऊपर रोटेट करने की कोशिश कीजिए आप समझ रहे हैं दोनों तरफ ठीक है तो इस तरह से कोशिश करके इमेजिन कीजिए कि बेसिकली हम ये कॉन्सेप्ट क्या है राइट ये कॉन्सेप्ट तो डेवलप हो गया है अब इसका मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मूला देखते हैं नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इन दिस स्लाइड बाय पैरल एक्सेस थेरम मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन फर्स्ट इक्वेशन आई ए बी इज इक्वल टू आई जी प्लस ए एच स्क्वायर आई ए बी मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इज इक्वल टू आई जी दैट इज सेंट्रोडल एक्सिस प्लस ए एरिया ऑफ द सेक्शन एंड एच इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू पैरल एक्सिस हियर आई जी इज इक्वल टू आई वाई वाई दैट इज द एक्सिस पासिंग थ्रू द सेंट्रोइड बट इट्स वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन आई वाई वाई देर फोर आई ए बी इज इक्वल टू आई वाई वाई प्लस ए एच स्क्वायर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वेर आई जी इज इक्वल टू मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ अ प्लेन सेक्शन अबाउट सेंट्रोडल एक्सेस आई एक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू 
format of inertia of a plane section about centroidal x x axis next slide i y y is equal to moment of inertia of a plane section about centroidal y y axis a area of the section h is equal to perpendicular distance between the two elements so this is the theory part of parallaxis theorem in our next lecture we will try to solve some basic numerical on the basis of parallaxis theorem thank you